All right, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at poses inside of Human IK. Sounds pretty good. Now, first of all, what I need to show you about this is that if we come in here under our keyframing section, we have access to several of our pose controls. We have ability to uh, load poses that were saved off into FBX, the uh, ability to save out poses into an FBX file, to delete poses off the clipboard, to copy poses to the clipboard, to cut them to the clipboard, and to paste them. Right now, we have no poses down here inside of our clipboard, so let me show you that. But first, let me come down here and switch off our show ghosts for the clipboard, just so that that doesn't get confusing here in just a second. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I'm in full body keyframing mode, and I'm going to come up with some kind of really cool pose for our character to be in. So let me start off maybe by grabbing his wrists. I don't know. And I'll pull his arms up into the air. And... Maybe I'll spread his arms out. That's kind of interesting. And I'll grab one of his legs. And we'll rotate his foot down. Is it kind of a jumping pose, maybe? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Actually, I was kind of shooting for uh, a famous pose from one of my favorite movies, which is The Karate Kid. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. But, uh, so that we'll say that's our first pose. And what I'm going to do with this guy is actually copy him into the clipboard. So I'm just going to take him right now and just hit the uh, the copy button. And right now this suddenly says clipboard down inside here. Now so what that pose is in the clipboard? Yes, that pose, the entire pose, has been recorded into the clipboard. Now, it doesn't matter whether we have said uh, that we're on full body, body part, or selection. As long as we save out a pose, no matter what's selected, the entire body gets recorded. Makes sense. So let's go ahead and we'll just make a uh, a name for this. We'll come in here and rename this just to keep everything nice and organized. We'll call this uh, <laughs> Crane Kick Pose <laughs> or, or just, just something cool like that. And with that, uh, we can now come back and apply this this pose at any given point. So let me go ahead and I'll alter our pose around a great deal uh, to something Oh, it looks painful. Yeah, it looks like it hurts. Ouch. Yeah, well, just kind of... Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. It looks like it really hurts, but yes, just uh, at any given point, we can now come in here, and I'll switch off any of my matching controls. I'll actually get to those here in just a minute. But we can come back with crane kick selected, and we can hit paste, mm. and boom. Very nice. We go right back to this pose. Now, we also have uh, cut... And what that's going to do is basically it's going to record the pose, but at the same, at the same time it's going to delete any keyframes that it finds at that particular frame. So uh, if we were able, if we had any kind of animation at that point and just wanted to take that pose out and get rid of the animation at the same time, we could reach for cut, and that would take care of the same thing. Now let's go ahead and throw in maybe another pose. Uh, maybe let's make him actually do a kick. So I'll bring his foot out, maybe we'll rotate his foot back up, I don't know. Uh, that's looking pretty dangerous. Yeah, it looks like it's really kind of a painful kick. We'll bring his arms back, like he's putting a little bit of force into it, uh. or something. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of generating a, a second pose here, I'm not really being overly picky about it. So we'll say, uh, That'll do. yeah, we'll say that is our second pose. And what we can actually do is come back in here and say copy again. You'll notice now this says clipboard. And we can go ahead and rename this as well to maybe kicking. Like so. And now inside of this little drop down we have crane kick and kicking. And so we can go through and call on any one. So we can jump back to crane kick and we can hit paste. Or we can come over here to kicking and hit paste. Hey, very cool. So we're just jumping back and forth between poses. Now we can come in here and save these poses out. Let's say uh, we liked these. We can come in, click save, and it's actually going to save these as a film box file. And we'll call these uh, kicks for whatever reason. And click save. And then at any given point, let's say maybe we're working on a future project where uh, we didn't have these poses here. So maybe let me go ahead and delete these out so we'll 
delete that pose, and we'll delete that pose. Now you'll see our clipboard is empty. I can come in here and take kicks and double click on it and here, they're back. Hey, very cool. So you can actually save the poses to a file. Exactly. So now we can uh we have access to those in the future for any other projects we work on down the line. Now below that we have pose match. Now what these are gonna do is take an entire Actually, pace match, yeah. Pace match. I'm sorry, it's pace match. It's uh, it's all good. Yeah, I, I, I never learned to read. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we have pace match. Now what this is gonna do is take uh, our pose and it's going to try to match it to a specific effector. And we can set it to match to the position or to the rotation of that specific effector. Before I show that though, let me show this guy, so I'm not uh, getting too far ahead of myself. It's very important. I'm going to show the uh, pose mirror. So if I go ahead and I hit mirror, uh, let's uh, let's see. Let me, I don't know. Let's put our crane kick on this guy. So now he's in his really cool crane kicking pose. I just like that pose. That's just cool. Yeah, it is. Then I can check mirror and watch when I paste it again. Hey, very cool. It flips it over. So now we have the opposite of the pose. Now, depending on how you have this set up, uh, if you're working on specific body parts, you can use this to uh, make like a pose that is on the right leg appear on the left leg and, and that sort of thing. In fact, let me go ahead and kind of demonstrate that a little bit. I'll go ahead with crane kick uh, fully. Actually, here's what I'll do. I know, I'm jumping around, but it's like this is exciting stuff, so it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell it all in one quick sitting. Let me go ahead and take kicking and paste it onto our character. And what I'm going to do, just as an example, I'm going to switch over to body part. And I'm going to grab the arm. Now what body part's going to do, uh, like we talked about in the uh, the keyframing episode, is... Uh, episode. Episode. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the keyframing section is that it's going to basically get all of the effectors here in this arm. And let me go ahead and select the crane kick, and I'll hit paste. So now check it out. Hey, very cool. The arm's location from the crane kick pose has been added to this arm. In the same venue, I can come in here and select this leg, and then throw in crane kick, and we get the position oh, of the leg that. for that pose. So in this, so you're sort of mixing poses together. Exactly. In this way, we can take certain aspects of the poses and combine them. So uh, maybe I can come in here and grab this leg and switch on mirror and paste crane kick as well and check it out. Wow, look at that. Now my other leg is in the exact same position as the left leg of the crane kick pose. So I mean that's pretty cool. So yeah, now, that's cool. Now we can take our poses and start mixing and matching various pieces to get something really, really fast. Now, uh, back to paste matching. As I was mentioning earlier, you can set this to match to effectors. Let me go ahead and jump back to full body and let's get crane kick back on there. Now let's just say, uh, just a quick example for this uh, this paste match. Let's say I need to match the entire uh, pose to the location. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of uh, having a look around. Maybe we'd been making our character run around the screen or something like that, and we needed him to be in his crane kick pose, but we needed this uh, particular effector to not move when we do that. That's no problem. All we have to do is match the pose to this current effector's location. So now if I go ahead and match to position, uh, let's go ahead and just paste it with this effector selected. Oh, wow. So it sort of offsets it. Exactly. It matches the entire pose to whatever you had selected. Now, at the same time, this works for rotation as well. So if I activate rotation, and let's say we take this ankle and we rotate it a bit. In fact, or maybe rotate it up like that. It doesn't really matter. And we go ahead and paste it back in. Check it out. Wow, that's very cool. It reconfigures the entire pose so that everything lines up with however we had adjusted that uh, that effector. Now, on the other hand, we have gravity. Now, gravity can be a bit confusing the first time you take a look at it, but basically here's what it boils down to. If you have gravity checked, uh, Human IK is only going to... I almost said motion builder. Yeah, it's so <laughs> close. Human IK is only going to look for the X and Y position and only the Z rotation in regards to matching these up. Now, what I mean by that is simply this. If I come in and I pull this up in Z, remember, all we're doing is the Y and X position 
and we're doing the Z rotation. So theoretically, if I try to match to this effector right now with gravity on, it should come back down. It's not going to match the entire thing to this position of the, uh, the foot because that's not included. All we're doing in this case is the Y and Z Right. Uh, posi I'm sorry, excuse well, me, X and Y, y position, right. not Z. It should ignore the Z, uh, Z position entirely. So now let's go ahead and try it out. I'll paste, and, and it just brings the thing back down. Conversely, let me go ahead and drag it back up in the air. I'll switch off gravity, and we'll paste again, and we'll look what happens. I see. That's kind of cool. So what gravity is doing, essentially... kind of anchors your character to the ground. Exactly. It's going to keep the feet in the exact same position that the... Or uh, in the uh, sorry, is the uh, in the Z perspective anyway. Right. It's going to keep them in the same Z perspective that they were when the pay, uh, the pose itself was originally recorded. So, I'll just just one more time. I drag this up into the air. I have gravity switched on. I paste on and check it out. Mm, now, nice. at the same time, it is also going to ignore any rotation other than rotation in the Z axis. So if I uh, rotate like so. And I paste again. You see, it brought the foot right back down to the ground, but it matched everything in world Z. Makes sense. So that's how gravity is, uh, is working for us as far as that goes. So, really, I mean, that's about it as far as poses go. I mean, you've seen how you can put them on different parts of the body. You can mirror them around. You can match them to certain effectors. Uh, I mean, just everything really we've covered. But let me take a quick second... And I'm going to show you how to, you can set up a quick animation sequence using nothing but poses. Sounds cool. This, can, this is actually a really cool quick trick for blocking out a walk cycle very, very quickly. Let me come in here and we'll just uh, fetch the scene. What this is going to do, basically, I held the scene from earlier on in the lesson. So now we're going to jump back to exactly what I had at the beginning of the lesson. And if I select my effector, we've still got our crane kick inside here. Oh. Uh, good thing too, because uh, this allows me to show off the ghosts for these, and I'll I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and switch those off for now, and let me go ahead and delete out our poses because we're not going to need those spe uh, those specific poses anymore. Up here at the top of the screen, I'm going to grab my hips and make sure release is on, and I'm just going to slide my character back a little bit. Now this is really going to blow your mind if you're really trying to figure out how useful poses can be. This is just a quick example. Let me take my hips and my ankles and let me switch off release so I, I'm not dragging the whole character around. Let me lean those forward a little bit so I'll move them in, uh, in the YZ plane, uh, about like so. I'll grab one foot, slide it forward. Uh, maybe I'll bring my hips just a little more forward. I don't want to get too picky, but that's just how I am when I animate. It's hard not to be picky. I know, I know. Okay, so let me grab my wrist effectors, and I'm just going to position these so he's got kind of a neat looking walk pose. Nothing too fancy. Mm, maybe about like that. And really with that, the hard part of the walk cycle is, re is really done. So now let's come down here to uh, paste match, or, or basically our keyframe controls, and what I'm going to do is copy out this pose. Once this pops up in the clipboard, I'm going to rename this to Step. Now check this out. This is really cool. All I'm going to do is grab my forward foot. I'm going to select Mirror. And let me go ahead. And just, I just want to demonstrate this real quick before I start animating. Let me activate my clipboard ghost. Check this out. Wow. This ghost is going to tell us what position our character is going to be in when we paste the clip. Just so or you when, when sure we paste you don't the make post. a mistake. Well, it's gonna yeah, it's just gonna tell us exactly how it's gonna be. So we can click on certain effectors, and we can see what this is gonna look like as we switch him on and off. Wow, that is very cool. So let's go ahead. We'll switch the. Uh, we'll grab the front foot, the forward foot, and before I really go anywhere, let's go ahead and switch on auto key, and I'll go up to about frame 15. And I'm going to mirror my pose and match it to my forward foot, which is in this case the left foot. So now I've checked mirror, I paste, boom. And our character is now taking one step forward. Let's go ahead and go to frame 30, uncheck mirror, select the forward foot, and paste. 
Can you believe wow, this? Wow, that is too cool. And we can just follow this pattern. Once again, I'm going to slide uh, another 15 frames up. I'm going to select my forward foot. I'm going to hit mirror and paste. We'll go up to frame 60. Select forward foot. This time we're unchecking mirror and paste. That is just too cool. I'm sort of in shock right now. And check it out. Wow, that is that is like a few seconds and you've got a blocked yep. in walk cycle. Exactly. So I mean this is one just one of the ways that poses can really shine is just to help you get these animation sequences in really quick. And the best part about this is that since we're using the same pose and just mirroring it, that one step and then another step is going to be fully cyclable. That's incredible. So we've got this really, I mean, I know, we just blocked it in. We've still got, you know, a lot of things to do, you know, oh, lifting yeah, sure. the foot and all that. But uh, for those of you who have you know, actually tried to animate a walk sequence, you know how much time we just saved. It's just amazing. It's unbelievable. And really, that's about all I want to show in this lesson. Yeah, it's obviously we, very powerful. We've we've covered uh, pretty much everything I wanted to, to show as far as uh, how you can generate poses, how you can save them out, how you can load them back in. We've shown how you can copy, cut, and paste them onto the clipboard. And we've seen all of the various pose match controls. So oh, yeah. that's going to wrap it up for this lesson. So thanks, everybody.